Excuse me. Right, been making loudspeakers again. Got a given a, a 15 inch driver and just happen to have tons of scrap wood here from a, an abandoned work project. So this is super speaker land again. The end panel of this base bin just is the size it happens to be and also just happens to be the size that will fit in my Prius so I thought I'd have a play. They say I've got several panels of those size so let's stop waving the camera about and uh, have some serious discussion. 15 inch driver goes in there and of course the sound has quite a long way to travel and it has to go this way and that way. What, uh, what I am going to do when the box is glued up is cut these corners off and just put a flat bit of wood across the end to uh, save a bit of space because uh, when you are putting it in the car and whatnot, cutting the corners off helps with the uh, angle of the hatchback. You can uh, pack more in the car, it can go closer to the rear of the car. So uh, as you're not using the space, I might as well get rid of it. Um, I'll just put a piece of wood. When the box is built, I'll chop that off and then put a, a flat piece of wood across the back and uh, just to save a bit of weight and space. And there you have it. This is uh, no idea how it's going to sound. It's a total redneck experiment of a loudspeaker. I've done no calculations on it whatsoever. I will stuff this. I may, I may, I'm just thinking about something. I may, but uh, this bit of wood is too short, but I may put something in like that with a little gap there. And what that does is any resonances that build up in this area will be uh, dampened out by air leaking backwards and forwards through that little gap. And uh, in fact, that might be the right way of doing it. It's too short, but I might just have it like that, just to help kill resonances. Glue that in like that. In fact, that's it. I'll glue that in like that and stuff the widening behind it, a bit of stuff behind it, a bit of stuff in front of it, just to break up standing waves. And uh, you know, there you have it. Um, one super duper awesome loudspeaker. Yeah, I would actually like that space to be a bit shorter, so I'll get a find a taller bit and I'll just have a little bit of space on the end or the side, or even just drill a few holes in it. I'll do some thinking about that to make a kind of uh, anti-resonance chamber, but uh, I might need your opinion on it. No doubt opinions will come fast and furious. But uh, well, actually what I should have done was have a bit of wood there so the air can get through there to that space to make advantage of that space there by having it like this. And uh, that then would mean I would actually be able to use that space for something. So I'd only have to cut one corner off, not two. to. I hate wasted space and speakers. Anyway, it's up rabbiting. There's some various assorted tools and a, a robot lawnmower just for the uh, record and more timber. There's the driver. I've got four of those to play with. I've got a, a Wolferdale 18 inch down there. So which box sounds the best? I'll make it again with an 18 inch uh, Wolferdale. And uh, I'll get them all working. I'll, 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 uh, I'll, I'll glue bits of wood in there and all the rest of it, chock everything solid when uh, I've finished uh, getting the main. When you put these bits in, you kind of move them about to get them all and attack glue and occasionally you think, oh, I don't, didn't want that there, I'll break it out and I'll put it somewhere else. But fortunately, I've only actually ever, ever had to move a couple of bits which were down there. The rest have sort of all come together quite nicely. Um, it's a cross between a transmission line and a folded horn. And that's actually my favourite design of loudspeaker because the last loudspeaker I built was flat down to 25 hertz and uh, it rolled off 3dB at 20 hertz and I think this is going to be the same. The idea is not to produce the most bass, the idea is to produce the deepest bass. There is a difference. And uh, the nice thing about transmission lines is that the coupling effect of the air adds mass to the loudspeaker cone so the actual the, so the transmission line is the, as far as I know the only loudspeaker design that actually reduces the resonant frequency of the cone rather than increase it which means that tends to get better bass extension particularly when it's 
the length of a, a, a didgeridoo, but folded up, you know. So, uh, yeah, I've been rabbiting on about this. I'll, uh, I'll get, funnily enough, my most, out of 400 videos on YouTube, my most watched video is of another speaker, again, with a very folded up line. And though it was made of very thin wood, it only had to work at 20 watts and work absolutely fine. Sounded very expensive. It had a nice expensive sounding tone to it, even though ultimate sound quality was a bit ordinary because it was cheap parts. So I was well pleased with that one. It was a twin driver. And so but this is a single and this is much bigger. And will actually handle about 100 watts or so, 150 watts. I've got a, a plate amplifier to go in, to connect onto it. And uh, I've got a plate amplifier to go in it, but I can run it off that amplifier just for testing. So it depends how it goes. You know, if I like the sound of it, I'll spend more effort on it. If I don't like the sound of it, then uh, I'll put the effort on the other one. Um, it's basically going to be a contest of the best of everything. And uh, uh, yeah, um, very quick job. Very, just an evening's work throwing all that together. And as I say, I'm going to look forward. I've got more wood than I know what to do with, so I'm going to have some fun doing side to side comparisons. And that reminds me, I need to get a sound level meter ordered so I can start doing uh, comparison tests and frequency roll off tests and whatnot. And I've got plenty of room in the garden and the house to do uh, testing. So, uh, yeah, I've got plenty of room to uh, annoy the neighbours with on testing. I say so. Uh, so, I hope my transmission line experiment works out. And if nothing else, it'll make some space in my workshop. But actually, uh, although not everyone agrees with my method of loudspeaker building, I am pleased with the results. Because, as you say, I tend to go for the deepest bass and the cleanest bass, not the most bass. Any idiot can build a bang bang boom box, but. Uh, Trying to get a nice sound and being willing to stick your head out to get a nice sound is uh, an altogether different matter. And uh, I have a good feeling about this one. I think this is going to sound nice. Now I've finished tarting it up. I'll make the trick with woodwork, even though it looks crude and thrown together, the absolute important thing with woodwork and loudspeakers is making sure there are no leaks and adding a strong in it to joints of sound. And uh, you know, a lot of people who do carpentry come unstuck with loudspeakers because they just don't build them well enough. They, they think, oh, I'm a carpenter, I can make a box and put a speaker in it. When a sound comes on, it rattles and shakes and clatters because uh, my first job was working for a discotheque company. We used to get the bass bins built and uh, carpenters would always would be surprised when they see us then reinforcing everything because they just don't realize what stresses and vibrations these things have to handle. And to that end, I'll brace the ends of these. These unsupported edges will probably get a bit of wood stuck in there to, to, to help hold them. And uh, just to hold everything, there'll be, you know, there's all the bits of wood at the moment, they're just sort of crudely gapped. But, uh, you know, when I, when I tart the project up, I'll, uh, I'll fill all those in uh, just for strength and rigidity, etc., etc. And then uh, I'll slap the lid on. And all these uh, thick silicon sealant all around the edges and then I'll screw the lid on nice and solid and I'll have bits of wood in here glued on to screw the lid to so it's not screws into MDF, it screws into proper timber and uh, then that, that'll make it a much much stronger job and uh, so it'll make a very nice loudspeaker um, I'll report, uh, let's hold on and I'll report back for part two Ta-da!